Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Churro Chat. Welcome to Churro Chat. Um, first of all, we want to say happy birthday to Caitlin's mom. Happy birthday, happy birthday, mom. birthday Becky. We hope that you had a great day and that it was filled with all your favorite things. Yeah. So my mom, when I asked her a month ago what she wanted for her birthday, she said she wanted a Churro Chat episode. So this episode is dedicated to her, one of our 10 subscribers. Thanks, Thank everyone. Thank you, 10 subscribers. <laughs> we love you all. So in our churro chat today, we're going to talk about things that remind me of my mom. And the first on the list is Pokemon Go. Yeah, so today it's going to be a little bit of a nerdy episode today. So, all you old-timers who are watching, you may want to stop now. Um, <laughs> skip to the end. Skip to the end. Okay, um, so we wanted to show off our best and favorite Pokemon. I'm not, like, a level 40 or nothing, but that's some, pretty, that's some pretty strong Pokemon. So <laughs> 32. Come on. Oh, oh, excuse I think, me. Oh, no, I'm oh. not 32 quite yet. Ha ha, I kidding. knew it. I know your Pokemon level better than you. Okay, I'll start. This is my favorite Pokemon. Can you see it? Yeah. It is a lucky Pokemon, lucky Espeon that I hatched, like, legit a year ago. It's my favorite thing because it's adorable, and it's also my fourth most powerful Pokemon, so... I mean, you don't really see many of these adorable things, you know, kicking trash in the gym, but it's so cute, and I love it. So that's my top favorite Pokemon. I use it all the time. Heck yeah. So I have a really hard time picking a top favorite Pokemon, so I have like three to show because favoritism. Um, so, I mean, my favorite Pokemon is Arcanine, so, you know, that's, that's classic. I love him. He's been my favorite for forever. I carry him in my wallet on a Pokemon card. Um, you but... You have to tell people that. <laughs> but my favorite Pokemon that I have currently is this guy, Electivire. I like him because I don't see him in any of the gyms, hardly ever. So I feel unique when I put him out. I mean, mm -hmm. I have seen like one or two, but aside from that, not really. And the other one that I really like is Staraptor, because again, I feel super unique when I put him in gyms, because I've literally only ever seen one other Staraptor, and it wasn't nearly as strong as mine, so just saying. <laughs> Part of picking your favorite Pokemon, I think, is also kind of the uniqueness of it. Because we all have the level 3000 Metagross. The, and the Salamence yeah, from the Community Days. Yeah. You know, we all have, like, the same strong Pokemon. But it's, like, those few Pokemon that you can up or you get lucky and find them. Those are the ones you want to show off. Yeah, man. And so, I mean, you see the, the level 3000 stuff in any gym and everybody has it. And, I mean, they're good to have because, you know, they get you coins and stuff. But the ones that truly mean something have the sentimental value, so. Yeah, so that reminds me of my mom because she also plays Pokemon Go. Not that that's unique to, like, just her because my dad and my sister and my brother, and we all play Pokemon to a varying degree. But that's something that reminds me of my mom because only Ben and I and me and my mom are great friends, which means we've played together a long time. Oh, best friends. Sorry, excuse me. Okay, so that was the first thing. The second thing is oh, okay. many of you probably know that my mom does cosplay. Maybe we'll link her cosplay page below. But she's, like, really good at it. And so, therefore, she has inspired the rest of us kids to kind of get into it. So, we, Ben and I decided for Comic Con this year we we're gonna do Avatar The Last Airbender, so we made this mask out of paper mache. Yeah! This is the blue spirit from Avatar, and we're really impressed because we've never made a mask or paper mache anything before, so we made this, guys. Look how and cool it is. <laughs> like, I thought that it would not turn out 
nearly as good as it actually ended up turning out, so I'm pretty proud of it. We spent a lot of hours on it over our one week break in between semesters. So that's pretty cool. And then we, we also, also got made some swords, but they're not done yet. Yeah, we made his dual sword. So this is just our our cosplay of the year, and maybe later on we'll make another churro chat about it. Well, it's pretty fun. It's something we do together. Yeah, probably when Comic Con rolls around, we'll show our completed costumes and do something fun. But that's just the works of it now. Yeah, and like, like we're not building like eight foot tall ro robots or extending wings or anything. We're like, we're like cosplay level one. <laughs> yeah. Well, not level one. We're not just like throwing a plastic bag on our heads or whatever. Beginner. So. Yeah, so we're, yeah, so that's another thing that reminds me of my mom. And then the last thing is kind of something that I realized. I think we all have things that we think are normal when we're kids, and then we grow up and realize that those are, like, not common experiences for everyone. And for me, one of those was my mom always made us do taste tests. So, like, when we would cook in the kitchen with her, I would be like, ah, like, vanilla, for example. I have said, imitation vanilla smells so good, it must taste great. And my mom was like, uh, no, it doesn't. And so she handed me a little teaspoon and she poured a, a little drop or two of just pure vanilla in, in the teaspoon. And she's like, taste it. And I tasted it. And I can tell you guys, I know exactly <laughs> what it tastes like. And she did this with everything in the kitchen. We had, you know, taste tests all the time. She probably doesn't even think of it anymore, but... Like, she would put up three different brands of root beer and little tasting cups, and we would all close our eyes and taste them so that we could find the best brand of root beer. I also tried shampoo on one occasion because it smelled good, so my mom was like, taste it, and so I did. So anyway, so we're going to do a taste test. <laughs> but it's going to be blindfold. So one of us is going to give the other the spice of our choice, and we have to guess what spice it is. And uh, I, like, I know a lot of spices, but very rarely have I had them individually from one another. So I think I'm going to have, like, a really hard time figuring out, especially with, like, basil and parsley and all the things that look like that. Like, it's going to be tough for me, but... Hey. So I, I do it. it's kind of like the cinnamon challenge, except it's not designed to kill you. Yeah. Um. I didn't want to do that. So do you want to be blindfolded first or should I? Um, yeah, sure. I'll be blindfolded first. Okay. Hold on, let me get, let me get a little sip of water. <laughs> Clear my Your palate taste buds. Yeah, my palate. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I have a little... Teaspoon here. I'm, I'm obviously not going to give him a half teaspoon of this. Yeah, please but... just give me a little bit of said spice. I Can you not... see? No, not at all. Okay, okay. I hope the smell of it doesn't give it away. Can we smell it before we... No, that would be cheating. I mean, you could. Well, things look like spicy might be a little too obvious. Okay. So, <clears throat> so give me... Do I feed it to you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> just, just, just feed it. <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> I know it so well. I'm trying to place what dinner it is that we've had today. <laughs> Probably multiple. Do you want to smell it? I'll do I get Do it. I get three chances? Do you want to taste it again? No, no. I have plenty of taste, thank you. Oh, is it cayenne three pepper? Guesses. No, no, it's not, not cayenne, cayenne pepper. pepper. Is it the yellow stuff? Yes. What's the name? The Indian curry crap. I mean, close. And we use it a lot in Asian food. Final guess. I don't know what the name is. Sniff it. I don't know Do what they're know? called. 
Is it b, b, does it start with a B? No. Start with a C? No. I don't know what it's called. But I know what it is. It's the yellow powder, huh? Yes. <laughs> yeah. What is it? What is it? What is it's it? ginger. Oh, it's ginger? <laughs> that was way too much ginger, babe. That was nasty. <laughs> Well, we'll little, sure a, little, a, good taste. a little lighter on the seasoning next time. Do you want me to do one more? And should we do two each, or should we so just do one? Wait, don't tell me. I haven't seen why I did this. Oh, I'm not even going to use it. I was just holding it because um, anxiety. Let's, let's each do three. Three? No, no. Okay. How am I even supposed to taste anything after this? <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. To be honest, I didn't really think this through. Well, oh, well, now it's all grody on the inside. Now I have to wash it. Mm -hmm. Please do. I don't want any more of that in my mouth. Okay, okay. It's ready. Okay. Never try a teaspoon of ginger, people. It's disgusting. You said a tiny, tiny bit? Mm hmm. Just dump it onto my tongue. Oh, why are you giving me such nasty ones? Oh. <laughs> it's not spicy. It just tastes bitter. It's a... Uh, is it margarine? No. Tell me all of the names of all the spices we have. Okay, we have cayenne pepper, rosemary, parsley, chili pepper, cumin, thyme, lemon pepper, pepper paprika. Paprika. Yes, you were right. Yeah. <laughs> paprika. I you thought paprika thinking? was supposed to be spicy. You're a winner. It's not even spicy. Okay, one more. Okay, I'm again. No, please. Sorry if you hate it. It's not my fault. It is my fault. It's 1000% my fault. I need a brownie after this. <laughs> <clears throat> I work out. <laughs> he says after he worked out one time today. Two times I worked out yesterday too. Okay. Okay. Parsley. Yeah. It wasn't as it wasn't as small and gritty as basil. That's the only reason I knew it. <laughs> Good job. Ah. Okay, Don't so try you want to use home. those ones. I'm gonna add maybe a couple more slices. Yeah. Okay, so you can use those ones. And I also was showing them what spice it was. Okay. Before. Is this one used on me? Yeah, so, I mean, do whatever you want. Okay. Blindfolds you... freak me out. They have since I was a kid. Okay, let's see what kind of evil things we can do with it. I feel like a lame at night. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Okay, this one. I'm so nervous. I didn't want her to find out what I was grabbing. I can't see anything. Okay. But mm, the clinking might have given something away. Okay. I couldn't even hear anything. I'm too Oh, focused. I should probably show everybody what, what I'm feeding you. Probably backwards in the camera. Yes, it is backwards, but oh well. Sorry, people. Stick that tongue out a little bit more straight. <laughs> okay. Fenna. Ah, how did you know that? I didn't even, I don't even think I've ever had this. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a little piece because I don't think I've ever had it. It tastes like anesthesia. Ugh. 
Not as bad as the other ones, but... Maybe it is Anastasia. Maybe it just has two names. Hmm. I think if you know, delicious. put it in the comments. <laughs> okay. That's so good. Uh, that would like be licorice. too easy. I'll leave that for the end. Hmm. I'm this just, one. I'm like still eating it. <laughs> I think that one will be too easy for her to get. Um. Okay. It's so tasty. It's probably my favorite spice of all the spices. That's not too bad. Tanya. out. Oh, do you need a drink of water to freshen your taste buds? Uh, no, it's okay. Okay. Tanya. out. Uh, 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 great. What could it be? Time. Well, yeah, it was time. Ooh, see, my mom's taste testing worked. <laughs> I apparently am just bad at this. Okay. You need to, you need to train your palate. <laughs> yeah, remind me to do that. <laughs> oh. Did you just spill everywhere? Um, not everywhere, but <laughs> in a location. You kind of set up an eternal winter everywhere. All right, tongue out. <laughs> Season salt. Yeah. That's nasty. It was too salty. Woo! I should have known that would have been an easy one. Well, so there honorable you go, mentions kid. were <laughs> lemon pepper seasoning, <laughs> margarine, and so cumin. <laughs> so there you go, kid. Uh, try all your spices. No, don't. So that you know how to flavor your meats. <laughs> Yeah. Well. This has been fun. Yeah. Thanks for coming tonight, everybody. We won't take up more of your time because this is going Again, on. 17 minutes. Sorry. 18 minutes. All right. We love you guys. Have a good night. Um, Happy birthday, Mom. Put something funny in the comments. We love you. We miss you. Have oh, a good yeah. Run. Post stuff that you want to see us do because we're out of ideas. Mm, yeah. Please do that. Anyways, Yay. love you. Bye. Bye.